Wilde said, if you want to be a grocer or a general or a politician or a judge, you will invariably become it. That is your punishment. If you never know what you want to be, if each day you are unsure of who you are and what you know, you will never become anything and that is your reward. Hi, good to see you again. Let's talk about things and life. <laughs> it's been about a month since I graduated university and it still, it still hasn't hit. It still hasn't hit that I'm finished, but I am. And I need to start thinking about what the heck I want to do with my life. So in this vlog, I thought let's bring some structure back into my life. I guess I always expected that if you finish university, you would have a clear idea of what you're gonna do after that. And I figured out that that is a complete lie. I have many friends who have graduated, very few of them are working their dream career or working towards their dream career right now. Most people have no idea. And I'm one of them. Genuinely, that quote by Oscar Wilde that I shared at the beginning of the video, when I came across that quote, I swear it changed something in my brain chemistry because I always had this idea that you need to have this idea of what you want to be. But that quote genuinely made me realize that it's really not that bad to not know where you're going. In case you want to know what am I doing, I have mentioned before I'm kind of taking a gap year, but it's not really a gap year because I am working. Um, I'm mostly focusing on YouTube right now. And then I'm also doing some volunteering work uh, for a climate justice company one day a week. So I will talk about that more later in the vlog when I will show you what I do on that day that I work there. Let me give you a little update on what I'm reading. I actually started yesterday Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which I do realize now maybe kind of fitting. I'm not very far in yet, but it is of course just an autobiography of a fictional character, Jane Eyre, as she grows up, you know, young woman. I'm going to annotate the heck out of this. I have my supplies ready. Can't wait. I'll tell you more when I've read more. <laughs> fun to show you guys how I've kind of been organizing my life at least a little bit because sometimes life can feel a little bit overwhelming and you just lose track of the things that you need to do and want to do. I have a regular planner page which you just saw but I also highly recommend making a list of just all of the things that you want to do. I will share my screen for a second. There we go. And you can do this wherever you want. I have it digitally, but I'm sure it would also work really well as a journal page. I started making a list of all of the things that I would like to do. And these are from like really large, long-term goal things like learning a language to very simple things like wanting to make a habit out of flossing every day or just cleaning my room <laughs> and i put some nice pictures there because that always makes it more fun to go to the page um, and then i just started organizing them by priority so how fast i wanted to have certain things done like this is priorities and then a little bit below there I have think about it, you know, already start thinking about it, but not necessarily now. And then 
for later. Like these are the things I will just do later in my life and I cross it when I've done something. Um, but what I really try to focus on is for every single task, so the little dot, I break it down into smaller tasks with very specific action points that I need to do so that it doesn't become this like weird idea in my mind of like, oh, I need to do this thing. But I actually just break it down into smaller tasks that I can do one at a time and it makes it easier to achieve the goals. Another really handy tip that I recently learned, it's how when you hear it, you're gonna be like, yeah, duh, but it's just something that I never thought about. And that is for all the things that you want to do, think about how much effort they cost you to do and how much value they bring into your life. And you will quickly realize that there are a lot of things that are going to cost you a lot of effort and that are not going to bring in that much value in your life. And those are the things you need to put low on your priority list. And I've just noticed that I have a tendency to somehow put a lot of importance onto those things that are going to take so much effort, but will bring like no value into my life or just like a little bit. And just by thinking about that, I realized that there are so many things that I could just put on the back burner and don't need to think about. And other things that I keep forgetting or never think about are things that are pretty easy and bring a lot of value into my life. And those are the things you need to do first. <laughs> Those are the things you need to prioritize. One of the things that I still need to do that I keep putting off and something that's very easy to do is I just need to hang up my pictures again because they keep falling down. Like all throughout my room, I have all these posters hung up. They keep falling down because of the little poster buddy sticky stuff. <laughs> it just dries out and they fall down and I'm always too lazy to hang it back up. So let's just do it all at once right now. Sometimes I really feel like Sisyphus rolling up the stone on the hill, you know, like I keep hanging them up and then they fall down again eventually and I have to hang them up again. And let's start with the ones above my head. I have more. I have these ones here. Those are all hanging, the, the ones above my couch. And then I have even more up there. I mean, right now there's not much, uh, but there used to be a lot of things hanging there and they keep falling down, but we'll get to that later. And I always get a lot of questions from you guys about, about all these things on my wall and where I get them. So I'll also give a little bit of a guide. Starting here, I just hang postcards and also a few things that I've painted myself. Um, but most of the time, every time I go somewhere, I will get a postcard as a little souvenir and then I hang it on my wall. So it's like cute wall of memories. Okay, and here is what I call the little corner of things on the wall that are more medical related. I mean, there's not much hanging right now, only up there, there's still something. Um, and I have here some stuff that I got from a market. These butterflies, I really love these. And then the anatomical hearts, and I want to hang them up. But these are the ones that are notorious for falling down. So I'm going to try Instead of using the little sticky stuff, I'm gonna try to use these pins, um, but the wall is really hard. So I usually cannot get them in, but we're just gonna try. Um, for those wondering what I have hanging here, you may have seen this and wondered why the hell do you have a poster called Pathways in Human Cancer hanging on your wall? This is just because I studied biomedical science. This was a poster that was given to us in one of the textbooks. And this is a cancer cell and I find it interesting. So I have it on my wall. And if you can see here, it's hard to see, but there's a glow in the dark skeleton hanging here like a sticker skeleton it's funny because it glows in the dark oh and then right here this is a present that i got it's also very old it's an anatomical eye with some some kind of disease some kind of disease in it and i have it over here uh, so we're gonna try to hang these up with pins and i'm also going to clean this area a little bit because it's got a little bit dusty No matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life. I'm just 
makes it all in. grabbing the homemade jam again so i'm about to go to my volunteering work and let me tell to you about it i really wanted to put effort into doing something that would help the world i guess <laughs> sounds stupid to say it like that but i really want to do something uh, for example in the climate change movement and so i'm currently doing a uh, volunteering work on a project for milieu defense which is one of the leading climate justice charities slash organizations in the netherlands and it's this four month project uh, that i do with a bunch of other young people and we work together on a project to encourage uh, certain companies to create better and more sustainable climate policies and it's really fun very interesting um, i started doing this because i just wanted to I really hoped that by doing a project like this, I would kind of, I guess, learn a little bit more about myself and what I enjoy doing and what I'm good at. So that hopefully I would understand myself a little bit more and that would help me in my goal of this gap year, uh, which is to figure out what the heck I want to do with my life. But that's what I do every Thursday. So today's Thursday again, and I'm going to Amsterdam because that's where the office is and we're gonna continue doing our work on our project and we just get together at the office every thursday and we work together and it's really it's been really great it's really inspiring to just work with other people your age who are very like-minded and have similar ideas and i also i think a lot of people can relate when i say that sometimes you feel like you can't really do anything um you never really get any farther than you know sharing something on instagram stories you will find that if you join any kind of local group that does some kind of good work for the community, you will very quickly find out that you actually can do a lot <laughs> and contribute a lot uh, if you just get outside of your, your little internet bubble and actually join something in the real world. There's Because there's a lot to do and you can make a difference pretty quickly. I made toast with jam and cheese. I think I'm gonna do some yoga now. I'm trying to structure exercise in my life a little bit more. I love at home exercising because I just don't want to have other people looking at me when I exercise. A little yoga with Adrienne tip if you go to her page and click on playlists. She has playlists by time. You can choose a practice that fits with how much time you have. Put on my comfy clothing 
to spend the rest of the evening in and now for the rest of the evening i still have an inspiration evening so this is an online evening organized by the climate company that i volunteer at for their volunteers and their employees um this one's around the theme of decolonization and how important it is to focus on decolonization because a lot of former colonies are really hit very hard by climate change partially because of the damage that was done there so there's going to be a speaker talking about that i think it's going to be very interesting and uh, so that is going to be the rest of my evening It's currently weekend, so I finally have some time to relax. I've started reading Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I'm so glad that I finally picked up this book because it's wonderful. I mean, there's a reason that I've always loved the movie, so I should have known that I would like the book, but there's still this idea that I always have that because it's a classic and it's a long classic, it's gonna be too difficult or I'm just gonna miss so many things, but it's very doable, it's very readable, and it's just so much fun to read this basically a coming of age story of this woman, Jane Eyre, from the moment she grows up in not an orphanage, but I guess she's taken in by the, by this family of her to indeed going to some kind of boarding school. It's funny how much solace you can find in reading about a fictional person's life but it really does the job. I don't really have a lot of time to read. I mostly read before bed. I don't usually show that because I don't really feel like filming myself right before bed when I'm laying in bed right before I go to sleep. But I kind of found this little habit, this little routine of reading a little bit before I go to sleep. Um, but because of that, I also read like maybe 10 pages at a time because I don't read that much before I go to sleep because I get sleepy. Uh, and sometimes the negative effects of that, I just wonder if any of you also have that. If you read a lot before you go to bed, um, it sort of conditions your brain to fall asleep when you read. So then whenever you read during the day, you become extremely sleepy. <laughs> Anyway, uh, regarding organization and getting my life together, I'm hoping to go to IKEA this weekend so I can get a bunch of stuff that will make my life a little easier. I will show you. Right, so I have my screen. Currently it's standing right here because I use it to play my Switch, but normally it's over there at my desk area next to my... <laughs> I'm watching Gilmore Girls, as you can see. Normally the screen is standing here uh, and I've propped it up onto this box to make it eye level. So I want to get a proper monitor standard. Then if we look over here, this is for the past five years that I've lived here. This is where I keep my shoes. It's not very neat and they always end up under the couch. Uh, so I want to get a little shoe rack. I feel like sometimes there are these things that are just a, s a slight nuisance in your life to the point that they don't really take priority to do something about. Like for example, me just having these shoes always there. Um, but they kind of pile up and you get this piling up of little things that are a little suboptimal, but you don't want to focus on them because they're really not that big of a problem. But then you just have this this whole list, this whole pile of things that are a little bit irritating and it does pile up into something that feels very irritating overall. Um, so sometimes if you wanna get your life together, I think it's good to focus on those little things that you've been putting off because you feel like they're not annoying enough to put effort in, put effort in them. That's what I'm doing right now by getting myself a shoe rack and a monitor standards. <laughs>
if you've been watching for a while you know that this couch the way it looks right now has been like this for a very long time it's well there's a lot of crumbs on it this couch has been looking like this for a long time i have one emerald green blanket on top of it and one bright orange one the original color is a light blue color which at some point i realized doesn't really fit with the other colors that i have going on in my room so i just put blankets on top of it to add some extra color to my room because i like that and also it's really just neat because you get crumbs on your couch and then you can just you know easily just like clean the blankets and you don't have a dirty couch but i've been staring at this for the past five years and i thought it's time to change it up a little bit and create a slightly more homogenous look so i bought these two plates that i also saw at ikea they're more lighter greenish kind of like a forest green so i'm excited to see how it's going to change the look of my room so this is the current look and this is after I'm gonna be honest, I expected it to be a little more green. <laughs> I've noticed that as I laid the plates out, it kind of just looks dark gray, which is, I do prefer something a little bit more colorful, but it's really nice to just have, you know, a different view because I'm sure many of you can relate if you're students or you just live in a very small space, you kind of just end up looking at the same things constantly because your space is so small and a very easy and quick way to just change things up a little bit without having to you know buy new furniture when your old furniture is still perfectly fine just throw a plate plate is it plate or plate anyway just throw a plate over something throw a blanket over something new color as new oh you can actually see them now Look, I hung up the postcards again. I changed the look of my couch. I finally have a monitor standard and a shoe rack. And it's also been really nice to kind of have the structure of the volunteering work that I've been doing every Thursday. It's been really nice. So this, this hasn't really been a, a reading vlog. It's more of an organization vlog because, you know, sometimes it's just, I find it very fun to watch other people organize their lives and it makes me feel like I can also organize my own life so that's why I thought I would share me organizing my life thank you for spending your time to hang out with me I really appreciate that and I will see you soon in another video goodbye